My wife and I just bought a camper. We want to start doing some camping videos and some fishing videos. I wanted the GoPro 11 and the DJI, so now I'm confused about which one to get. I understand the confusion here when you're comparing two cameras side by side, going over their spec sheets, trying to figure out how to quantify and score all those numbers. And then you come online and you listen to people like me come up with our own scores, which is gonna be arbitrary and subjective. Let me tell you how I would go about approaching this. I would focus on one spec or attribute of a camera and decide from there. The DJI Osmo Action 4 uses standard 4K resolution with a four to three aspect ratio. Now I've set the camera right now to use the same resolution aspect ratio. Most videos, including this one you're watching right now that you'll see on YouTube are gonna be 16 by nine aspect ratio. I've zoomed out now to demonstrate the four to three aspect ratio. So you should see black bars on the side and a little more of the video on the top and the bottom. When I set the resolution of the video to be a one-to-one -one match of the settings in my video editor right now, it will fill the screen to the width. Now I will have some extra content on the top and the bottom so I can do some reframing and adjustment as needed. And if you wanna crop in like I'm doing right now, well, you can, there's nothing stopping you, but you're gonna take a hit in image quality unless you plan on producing an HD video, which honestly, a lot of people don't do these days. Even this video is in 4K. So that doesn't leave a lot of room for cropping in. Now the Hero 11 tops out an impressive 5.3K resolution with an eight by seven aspect ratio. Not only can I zoom in really tight like this and not really take a hit on image quality, but I also have the flexibility to reframe myself to the left or to the right of the frame as need be. And look at all this room I have up top and down below. I really love this for vlogging because it gives me so much flexibility to not have to really worry about my framing while I'm recording. Even though there's a front screen on this, I've been in plenty of situations where the lighting conditions made it really hard to see myself in the screen. So it gives me a lot of flexibility to just record when I'm out and then worry about the framing and composition later when I'm editing. Now, why would someone want the DJI Osmo Action 4 over the Hero 11? Well, based on what I'm reading about the sensor, the Action 4 has much better low light performance than the GoPro does. In fact, the low light performance has been the Achilles heel of GoPros for years, so that's nothing new. So if you're more concerned about low light performance than you are having more resolution to edit with, then maybe the Action 4 is right for you. Now, if you do decide on the GoPro, you should keep a couple things in mind. The Hero 12 is literally weeks away from being announced. It might have some features that tickle your fancy. However, I think you could expect to see the Hero 11 drop in price and go on clearance sale, so you might get some good deals too. And in no way am I implying that the Action 4 is a subpar camera, not by any means. I'm actually kind of a DJI fanboy. I do have quite a few of their other products, which I really do enjoy, including the microphone. So they are a solid company and I've heard great things about their cameras. So to be honest, either way, I don't think you're really gonna lose out, but I think you need to focus on what's most important to you. And maybe it's not the resolution or the low light performance, maybe it's something else, but you really gotta decide what is most important for you. And that's what really matters. Yes, I could have put this all into a comment response. However, I don't like long comments. It's kind of like long emails at work. It gets to a point where like, dude, can we just get on a video call and just resolve this? The same thing here. I just felt compelled to make a video then leave a really long comment. And I hope this information was useful for you to make an informed decision before you make your next purchase. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you again next time.